My name is Devero Touch of Sleep Williamson. This is my boxing gym. I wanted to be a, a professional football player. And then this boxing thing kind of, you know, fell in my lap and, you know, who knew? Who knew at 25 years old that I would start boxing and be uh, a very good boxer? As an amateur, I had a hundred and I don't know, 40 fights, I won 120 fights. I won 103 of those fights by knockout, by referee stops contest. As a professional, I'm 28 and seven, so I've had success in both. To be the only heavyweight to win the U.S. National Championship three years in a row was, was, was huge. And I won the same way as Tiger Woods, they won the U.S. Championship for golf. I won in boxing. To be the best, U.S. American athlete, and guess who's number two? Lance Armstrong. And this is 1998, this is not 2008. It certainly gives you a certain uh, reputation that, hey, this is why I'm listening to this guy, this is why I'm here, because this guy has accomplished these things, you know, in his career. This guy has done some things, and he's telling me how to do them, and how not to panic, and how to calm your nerves, and, and, and to, be successful. I love that a person would think enough of me and think enough of my my gym. To want to do a film here, you know, you have to feel proud. This is a nice, it's a nice reward. And it feels good to have something that someone else thinks enough of you and of your facility to want to do other things here. The main character, Cass, we've helped them go from maybe like the basic boxing, the grassroots, to now he's had some ups and downs and, you know, he become a champion in the film. And I feel like that myself and my assistant coach, Kenny Lemos, has had a firm hand in that process. Sometimes in sports or sometimes in life, you know, people, they want the gratification right now. They don't really believe in the process or they don't allow the process to, to maturate to, to mature. Hey. Good. Did not think I'd be doing this today. I think that uh, Cass has been able to do that. And I thought the, the times, the, the few times that we got a chance to work with each other, I, I thought he's a natural athlete to pick up on some of the boxing things and then put his own little flavor in it. And just, just a short time, very short window, you know, to put his own flavor in it and to be successful. Oh, come closer, come closer. I was like trying to give him advice and Kenny was actually in the ring with him with the focus mitts, like constantly trying to get him to relax so that he he can kind of get it, his his feet right. Like sometimes he was maybe a little bit more, you know, like trip, tripping over himself so he can kind of relax. You know, sometimes it looks like you're throwing your punches from your arms but really it's your legs that are doing all the work. So you picked up on some, some, some things that make, is make it look like, it doesn't look rehearsed. You know, it looks like he's, you know, he's been doing it for a while. Like he's been doing it longer than, than you know, just a little bit of time we've had together. Anyone has a, you know, a job or a career and someone comes to your work site and say, hey man, like, or hey young lady, I'm proud of you or what you're doing and I wanna look more into it. Maybe how you type or how you sew or how you work it, you know, in carpentry. But it's boxing is something that I've been very, very good at and I've had some success in and that feels that feels amazing.